Hello, in this video, we are going to show a very simple example of getting input from the user via the console. So we've showed console output using the system print out method, and that's pretty cool, but we might you know, want to actually get some input from the user in the console. And to do that is actually extremely simple. So we need to import a couple of files. So we're going to do import Java dot io dot buffered the buggered buffered hopefully it's not buggered dot buffered readout so this import just allows us to include this you know class this module this functionality within java and it just allows us to use all the code and it's moaning because it's saying it's unused but we'll be using that very soon we want to import another one called java Dot io dot io exception and we need another one and this is the last one I promise input java dot io dot input stream reader okay so that's all of them done so this it allows us to you know get content you know from the buffer this the input stream reader is you know al allowing us to actually get input and it's stored in a buffer io exception is required because you need to throw an exception when you mm, use this method so the first thing we're going to do is throws io exception just in case something were to go wrong it would just throw an input output exception okay so to actually read it you just do buffered reader and we'll name it i don't know reader very descriptive new buffered reader so we're creating a buffered reader object like so and here we're creating another new object called input stream reader and this takes in system dot in like so for a semicolon at the end I will close these down a bit or reduce the size so you can see this a little better and now that will actually read you know, the input but we need to actually read the end store it somewhere we can read it using the reader dot read line but we need to store it into a variable it always has to be a variable you can convert this at a later date if you know it's like a number for example but you need to store in a variable. So reader, I mean next string name equals reader dot read read line like so. And finally, we can do anything we want with this. Now we could print it out in a system printer. We could assign it to another variable, manipulate it however we want. And we're just going to do a simple system dot out dot print ln our favorite little method. And if we put name here, run it. So nothing's appearing, but because it's actually halted the console and it's waiting for us because we've done this reader.read .read line. So it's basically saying, no, wait till we get some input. So if I put my name, Farhan, press enter, as you can see, it got it and it printed it out in here. So that's it. Very simple to read input from the user via the console in Java. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. All the source code from this video and every other part in the series will be available via the GitHub link. And as usual, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Java tutorial.